Hi guys, welcome to Paternix Corner. My name's Terry, and in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, putting your eggs into lockdown. Um, I've received uh, quite a few questions recently on the uh, YouTube channel and also on the Facebook group page uh, from people wanting to know what lockdown is, uh, when should you go into lockdown, um, why do you have to go into lockdown. So I've done videos in the past on uh, incubating eggs and uh, we touched a little bit on humidity and whatnot, um, and also going, putting the uh, chicks in the brooders. But I guess I never specifically targeted lockdown. And what probably happened was I just assumed that everybody understood the term lockdown and uh, what it means. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do now in future videos is to slow down a little bit and explain all the aspects because some of the terms are a little bit different and some of the newcomers uh, to the hobby may have not heard those terms before and don't understand exactly what they mean so we're just going to take a step back and uh, kind of help the newcomers because i believe that that's what this channel is geared more towards anyhow is uh the newcomer to the hobby so uh let's jump right into lockdown basically what lockdown is um Caternix quail eggs take uh, 17 to 18 days of incubation to hatch. Uh, normally on around day 14, the eggs are placed into what's known as lockdown um, for the remainder of the incubation period to uh, basically allow the chick to position itself for hatching. Um, usually lockdown, like I say, is on day 14. Uh, what you wanna do is pull your eggs out of the turners, put them in hatching trays, put the hatching trays back in your incubator, raise the humidity levels up, and uh, just leave them alone. Don't touch them until they start hatching. That's why it's known as lockdown, because basically you're, you're locking them down in the incubator and you're not messing with them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit closer. We're going to uh, pull these two trays out. We'll get some hatching boxes. We'll place them in the hatching boxes and then uh, throw them back in the incubator. And I'll show you my routine for uh, putting them in the hatching boxes and also uh, putting them in the incubator and raising the humidity levels up. Okay, so to put your eggs into lockdown uh, basically just means uh, moving your eggs from the egg turner and placing them into a hat hatching box or a hatching tray. Uh, my hatching boxes are wood frame boxes that measure 16 by 16. And I also stapled quarter inch hardware cloth to the bottom. Um, and I also like to line my hatching boxes or trays with this drawer liner material. And you can see that it's pretty porous, so you can still get good airflow around the egg. But more importantly, what it does is supplies good footing for the chicks once they start hatching out. It'll prevent them from getting spraddle leg or any other types of leg injuries. Uh, and I also built a, uh, a top out of half by half pine. It's also got quarter inch hardware cloth stapled to the top of it. And that just fits over the hatching box to prevent any of the chicks from trying to jump out of the box. <clears throat> okay, so when going into lockdown, basically what you're gonna do is take your eggs, lay them on the sides, and uh, place them in the, uh, the hatching trays. Um, when you go into lockdown, what this does is it allows the chick to prepare itself for hatching uh, by positioning itself in the egg. On the fat end of the egg is an air cell. And what the chick will do is position its head down at this end of the egg. Um, the chick's head is positioned underneath its left wing and the beak will be towards the, uh, the air cell. And what it'll do is it'll break the inner membrane on that air cell, and that's when it actually breathes oxygen for it the first time, or breathes air for the first time. Uh, after that, the chick will pip the shell, which basically just means it, it chips a little hole in the shell, and it can breathe uh, air from outside the egg. And that's why it's so important uh, to raise your humidity levels uh, during lockdown is the higher humidity levels will actually soften that shell a little bit and make it easier for the chick to, uh, to pip and unzip and actually hatch out. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these eggs all moved over into the hatching box. I'll move that camera out a little bit and then we'll uh, go ahead, place them in the incubator and uh, talk a little bit more about the whole process of lockdown. Okay, so I've got all the eggs uh, taken out of the turners and placed into the uh, hatching boxes and I'm going to go ahead and throw them back into the incubator. Okay, the next and most important step um, in this lockdown process is bringing your humidity levels up. Uh, in my incubator, uh, what I use is a 10 inch by 12 inch uh, aluminum baking pan um, that just sits down at the bottom of the incubator. And I will add a 16 ounce bottle of water to that pan to help bring the humidity levels up. Now I'm in South Florida and our outside humidity levels are usually pretty high. Um, so it, I only need to add a little bit of water to raise my humidity levels. But if you're having issues uh, with your humidity levels, um, I did another video um, all about humidity levels and, and how to bring them up. And I'll link to that, uh, that video in the description below. Uh, but basically you're just gonna add water uh, to your incubator. You're going to try to get them humidity levels up around uh, 65, all the way up to 80% humidity. And like I said earlier, that's going to help them soften those eggshells uh, and make it easier for those chicks to pip and zip the egg and actually hatch out. Okay, guys, so I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight into the whole lockdown procedure and why it's so important in the hatching process. Um, like I said earlier in this video, we're going to kind of slow things down a little bit and uh, not skip over topics that may be important to the newcomer in the hobby. Um, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out and you'll get notifications you know, of any new and upcoming videos. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you on the next one.